Hello students, welcome to the paper CHO4103 that is Basic Organic Chemistry. Myself Dr. Bhondwe Arias from Department of Chemistry, TC College Baramati. So friends, as you know that we are studying strength of acids and the structural effect. So just to recap our concept, I will remind you what are the acids. So according to Arrhenius theory, the acids are any substance which releases H plus ion in a water solution. Whereas Bronsted and Lowry suggested that any substance which donates a proton is called as a acid. And the last theory of acid and bases is Lewis theory. According to Lewis theory, any substance which can accept an electron pair is called as acid. Okay, friends. So if we consider the carboxylic acid or, or I will say organic acids then the first two theories can be applied to the carboxylic acid that is COOH group and I will say the proton releasing or proton donating group is called as compound is called as acid. So friends as we discussed in my previous lecture the strength of an acid depends on two factors that is its ability to dissociate H plus ion and second factor is stability of conjugate base after dissociation. So friends these two factors we have studied thoroughly uh, according to inductive effect, mesomeric effect and hydrogen bonding. So in today's lecture we will take some question and answers for the strength of acids and these three structural effect. So please listen carefully. So first question is asked on the acid strength is phenol is more acidic than cyclohexanol. So as you know that in phenol and cyclohexanol there is a difference that OH group in phenol is attached to benzene ring and in cyclohexanol OH group is attached to six member aliphatic ring that is cyclohexan ring. So why phenols are more acidic than cyclohexanol? The answer for this question is as you know that phenol is more acidic than cyclohexanol because the conjugate base of phenol is stabilized by resonance and as we discussed earlier the strength of acid depends on two factors that is its ability to dissociate H plus and stability of formed conjugate base. So in case of phenol when the H plus is dissociated from this and the phenoxide ion uh, that is a conjugate base of phenol which is stabilized by resonance effect or delocalization in the benzene ring. So that's why phenols are more acidic than cyclohexanol because you know that this cyclohexanol conjugate base is not stabilized by any delocalization or <coughs> resonance effect. So there is no resonance in case of cyclohexanol. So this conjugate base is not stabilized but this conjugate base is stabilized. So if we compare these two compounds this one that is a phenol is more acidic than cyclohexanol. Okay. So let's go for the next question. Now questions are asked in such a fashion that there might be some uh, confusion about increasing and decreasing acid strength. So friends now the question is that arrange the following compound with their decreasing acid strength that means the highest acidic compound should be put first and we need to arrange the compounds that is the first will be the highest acidic and last will be the least acidic. So this depends on the this question is uh, on the basis of resonance effect that is or uh, mesomeric effect that is strength of the CN, NO2 and OCH3 or the nature of the mesomeric effect. So as you know that if we consider the mesomeric effect of all these three substituent CN is showing minus M effect that is electron withdrawing or negative M effect whereas you know uh, NO2 also shows minus M effect whereas OCH3 showing plus M effect. So first two substituent are electron withdrawing 
whereas OCS3 is electron donating. So as you know that minus m effect increases acid strength and plus m effect decreases acid strength. So this first two compounds that is a cyanobenzoic acid and nitrobenzoic acid are the more acidic compound than this paramethoxybenzoic acid. So paramethoxybenzoic acid will be the least one. So we need to put it last. So which one is highest acidic among this cyanobenzoic acid and nitrobenzoic acid. So friends as you know that <coughs> in para cyanobenzoic acid and para nitrobenzoic acid more acidic is para nitrobenzoic acid because of the excess positive charge or excess uh, canonical structure or delocalization of nitro group whereas cyano don't have excess or <coughs> equal to this NO2 group canonical structure so cyanoacetic acid is least acidic acid least acidic than nitrobenzoic acid so if we want to arrange in decreasing order so we need to first put the nitrobenzoic acid then cyanobenzoic acid and then last one is a paramethoxybenzoic acid this is the <coughs> right answer for the this question okay now let's go for the next question the next question is depend on the hydrogen bonding the <coughs> i will read the question the question is that the acidity of 26 dihydroxy benzoic acid is greater than that of salicylic acid so friends this is a statement and we got the answer in the statement or in the question only so what is the question question is that the 26 dihydroxy benzoic acid is more acidic than salicylic acid so first you need to remind or remember the structure of salicylic acid so salicylic acid is nothing but orthohydroxybenzoic acid okay salicylic acid is orthohydroxybenzoic acid and we are comparing this orthohydroxybenzoic acid with 26 dihydroxybenzoic acid means in the first acid we have two OH group whereas in salicylic acid we have only one OH group near to the COH group. I will show you the structures and then uh, we will discuss about the acid strength. So friends you can see that this is a salicylic acid and this is a 2,6 dihydroxybenzoic acid. So as you know that the acidity of 2,6 dihydroxybenzoic acid is greater than that of salicylic acid because of intramolecular hydrogen bonding on the both side of carboxylate group okay in this the conjugate base form is stabilized by this OH hydrogen bonding but in this case we have hydrogen bonding on both the side of this COH group that is a carboxylic group so this 2,6 dihydroxybenzoic acid is more acidic than salicylic acid and also we compare one more acid with this to acid that is the benzoic acid in benzoic acid there is no such hydrogen bonding so benzoic acid will be the least acidic in among these three acids so okay so for the uh, for answer of this question is 26 dihydroxy benzoic acid is greater uh, as or acidic uh, in nature than salicylic acid because of the intramolecular hydrogen bonding on both the sides of carboxylic group okay now let's go for the next question this also depends on the or this on the basis of hydrogen bonding so the question is orthonitrophenol is less acidic than paranitrophenol okay so first one or a is orthonitrophenol whereas b is paranitrophenol in both the cases we have minus i effect of no2 but still and the same canonical structure uh, in case of resonance still the para nitro is more acidic than ortho nitro the reason for this is we if we draw the hydrogen bonding with the help of this o and h then we see that the hydrogen okay the phenolic oh and this hydrogen is now engaged with the hydrogen bonding of no2 
okay hydrogen bonding of o and h now engaging this hydrogen and it is very difficult for orthonitrophenol to dissociate this hydrogen so as you know that the strength of acid depends on the dissociation of h plus so if this dissociation is uh, slower down because of hydrogen bonding orthonitrophenol is a less acidic than the para nitrophenol because in para nitrophenol our oh is not or our h is not engaged in hydrogen bonding and it is easily dissociated uh, in the solution so para nitro benzoic acid as para nitrophenol is more acidic than ortho nitrophenol or in other words we can say that ortho nitrophenol is less acidic than para nitrophenol okay now let's go for the next question on the hydrogen bonding and acidity very famous question is asked <coughs> on the hydrogen bonding and acidity that is explain why malic acid is stronger acid than fumaric acid in first dissociation okay explain why malic acid is stronger acid than fumaric acid in first dissociation so what are the malic acid and fumaric acid malic and fumaric are the <coughs> same acid only difference is one is cis and another one is trans so which one is cis and which one is trans the malic acid is cis and the fumaric acid is trans okay so in first dissociation the upper one is more acidic and in second dissociation the lower one that is fumaric acid is more acidic so these two question we will discuss in next slides let's first discuss why the malic acid is stronger acid than fumaric acid in first dissociation so when we consider the first dissociation of this dibasic acid the oh or this hydrogen is live as h plus and we get conjugate base of this acid and this conjugate base is stabilized by hydrogen bonding with the another coh group so once the first dissociation dissociation happen this conjugate base is stabilized by the hydrogen bonding so in first dissociation the malic acid is stronger acid because in case of fumaric acid as it is a trans dibasic acid we don't have such kind of privilege of intramolecular hydrogen bonding so friends <coughs> as the there is no intramolecular hydrogen bonding this is a weaker acid in first dissociation if we compare the malic acid okay so what happens in the second dissociation in second dissociation okay this second dissociation to take place this second dissociation we need to break this hydrogen bonding and abstract the proton to get this kind of dianion now two negative charge are in close vicinity to each other so this there will be the electrostatic repulsion between these two negative charges and this will not favor the dissociation of this h easily okay so there are two barriers first is hydrogen bonding and the formation of two anion uh, in close vicinity to each other so this will slower down the second dissociation rate of this h but in case of fumaric acid there is no such condition that is no breaking of hydrogen bonding as well as the two anion form are separated by a considerable distance so in second dissociation this fumaric acid is more acidic than our malic acid okay there are pk values over here so you can uh, clearly observe the pk difference between first dissociation and second dissociation okay the smaller is the pk stronger is the acid remember this so this is <coughs> all about the questions from our syllabus so few questions i uh, took from the uh, mh set that is set 2019 june examination so the question from set is that the correct order of acidity of the following molecule is so friends most of my student rush for the substituent and they overlook above substituent okay 
सो फ्रेंड्स कीप इन माइंड दैट एसिड्स आर ऑलवेज एसिडिक देन फिनॉल्स और एनी अदर कंपाउंड्स सो इफ यू वांट टू कंसीडर और इफ यू वांट टू सिलेक्ट द मोस्ट एसिडिक कंपाउंड द फर्स्ट टू दैट दे आर सी ओ एच सी ओ एच आर मोस्ट एसिडिक अमंग द सेकेंड टू कंपाउंड्स बिकॉज दिज आर फिनॉल एंड दिस इज अ टोलिन दैट इज अ न्यूट्रल कंपाउंड सो अमंग दिस टू द फर्स्ट वन बिकॉज देर इज नो पॉजिटिव आई इफेक्ट ऑफ मिथिल ग्रुप ओवर हियर दिस पॉजिटिव आई ऑफ मिथिल ग्रुप इज रिड्यूसिंग द एसिड स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ दिस एसिड सो द मोस्ट एसिडिक अमंग दिस टू इज फर्स्ट वन एंड द सेकेंड वन इज फॉलोड बाय फर्स्ट वन सो कैन यू सी द ऑप्शन ओके सो इफ वी कंसिडर द मोस्ट एसिडिक इज फर्स्ट वन देन सेकेंड वन अमंग थर्ड एंड फोर्थ यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज अ फिनॉल विच इज अ वीक एसिड एंड फोर्थ वन इज न्यूट्रल सो दिस वन इज इन थर्ड नंबर एंड दिस वन इज इन द फोर्थ नंबर सो द मोस्ट एसिडिक इज फर्स्ट देन सेकेंड देन थर्ड एंड द फोर्थ so the right answer for this question is option number a okay option number a is the correct answer for this question so this kind of questions are asked on acid strength and structural effect in csr net as well as set examination the next question uh, from the set 2018 that is the correct order of acidity for the following compound is so don't rush for the substituent first see which groups are on the top so friends you can see here there are two phenols one acid and one alcohol and as you know that alcohols are neutral compounds this will be the least acidic compound so among first three the third one is acid so it will be the more acidic so option number a or option number d will be the correct answer so um, after first we will uh, go for these two compounds first and second so para nitrophenol as we discussed in my previous slides para nitrophenol is of course more acidic than para methoxyphenol because nitro group is exerting minus m effect whereas oc o, ocst or om is exerting plus m effect so plus m effect decreases acidity minus m effect increases acidity so second number will be the second first number will be the third third second first and fourth so third where is the correct option okay second third second first and fourth so option number d is the correct option for this question this is how the questions are asked on the strength of acid and the structural effect in csr net set or even gate examination so friends if you have any doubt regarding this type of questions please feel free to ask me thank you very much